How is it going? Well, yeah, I, <clears throat> I, I don't know if you noticed this, but um, all of my gaming streams are in the good time for EU generally. Actually, wait, no, sorry. I think I've been doing some game streams at around um midday at my time. I think. So sorry, I, I'm completely wrong there. Um, but I will probably be doing some game streams later. Um, so right now it's seven p.m. here. If I go for like three hours, it takes me to ten. That's perfectly fine. And what time is it for you? Uh, I'm judging by what you said. It's obviously a better time. It's probably uh, I would have to say it's like ten or so in the morning. Uh, UTC is that a roughly correct? That uh, yeah, I think that that sounds correct to me. I might be completely off though. Um. And if I am, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I guess I'm sorry, but time zones are hard. I don't understand them. I just go to time zone converter every time I want to use that. Uh, so, <laughs> and anyway, since it's, you know, Australia Day and all, even though it's a Tuesday, uh, <laughs> yeah, drinking on a Tuesday. My life's going great for me, isn't it? Hmm. 9.45 a.m. in Germany. Okay. I was... Pretty close. I wouldn't say, uh, I wouldn't say I'm super far off. Um, in case anyone's curious what I'm drinking, uh, I've got a, oh, can we focus on it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that fancy camera. White Claw Ruby Grapefruit. <sighs> so let's actually see if the game's, oh, I, I tried out the game last night. I played, uh, I played like seven minutes of it just because I wanted to make sure, you know, it worked before I started the stream, and I just realized the chat's not actually being displayed on on screen. Because of course it's not. Because why would... Why would this work? Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can fix the chat. And we'll we'll go from there. Let's go to my, my chat box on Streamlabs. Grab the link. And if we go into here, and we go to the, the chat window, wherever that is. Properties. Put the chat in there. And it's not going to work. Because of course it's not. Because why would it? Um, <laughs> okay, I'll try to log... Usually if you like log out of Streamlabs and log back into it, that will cause it to work. I don't know why, because Streamlabs is dumb. Um, I am definitely streaming to Twitch as well. Yes? Yes, I am on Twitch as well. In case people didn't know, I, I want to do the game streams. They also go to Twitch. Um, I don't know. If the chat starts working, it starts working. If not, then we'll just pop out the chat. Uh, I'm just going to post a, something in the chat to make sure it's... See if it's working. I'm going to post dot. There we go. Super interesting comment there. Uh, pop out chat. And put this over here so I can see you guys while I'm playing. Oh, chat is working. Awesome. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. Wait, did that? Yeah, okay. That. Cool. Um, put that one there. And let's play the game. If the chat ends up just being dead, I might just switch over to the other one where it's just showing the entire game. But until then, we'll uh, we'll leave it as it is. Now, watch the game not work, even though it has like a platinum rating on Proton DV. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm. Eh, eh, can we can we get the cursor off to the? Screen? Yep, there we go. I'm gonna turn that down because that's gonna be very loud. Uh, put it around there, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's a good level for this game. Oh, okay, it's doing things. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, what are the levels like in here? Uh, that might be a tad loud? Maybe. I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah, okay, cool. If that's too loud, then we'll fix it later. Uh... I love this game. It's been... Oh, God. I don't know how many years since I last played Tide Tasmanian Tiger. Gotta be at least, like, ten? Maybe? Maybe even more? Uh, let's go new game. And as we can see, I've got a uh, <laughs> a bit of a save slot there. Just 
Haven't haven't played much, but we'll we'll get rid of that for now. This game is auto saving. Eh, cool. This part has not been uh has not been redone for the Steam re-release, that's for sure. Oh, and it's gonna lag. Oh, no, we're good. Oh. <gasps> this is just a video cutscene. Why is it lagging? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay, it might have just been buffering it for some reason. If you say so. Oh, it looks like the audio's desync. Uh, I gotcha. I wow, gotcha. the audio's really desync. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, Ty, I'm in. Catch me if you can. <clears throat> Why is the audio desync? What happened here? Don't move, mate. I'll get, I'll get help. Platinum rating on Proton DV. Platinum rating. What runs perfectly on Linux. Perfectly. <laughs> oh my lord. It's fine, the actual Don't game be afraid, works fine. Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Can I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Was it? And then, yep. Boom! <laughs> My dinosaur ancestors were here first, you stick, you stinking furry mammal opportunists. Remember the comet! No! You mammals don't deserve to be at the top of the food chain! <laughs> now to restore the natural order once and for all. Oh, I think it's it's not this English. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe it's still a bit desynced or something. I don't know what that is. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. Stop the lizard. It's up to Stop you to find the talismans the before things. he does. It's up to me to save, save my, my family. family. Boy, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you? Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching Watch the, the footy. footy. But the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. All right, Murray. All right, then. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs>
Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Alrighty, Murray. Look at that high quality, high quality graphics there. I think my, wait, did I reset my controls? Uh, camera. Oh, uh, no, I think they're fine still. I just, I'm just not used to playing uh, third person games in a while. There we go, that's it. That, uh, that, <laughs> that is, so, that looks so bad. Um, think of things that look bad. Oh, the texture's loaded this time. Last time I played this game, uh, the waterfall texture just were like, nah, nah, we're just not gonna load at all. Right, we can bite like that, okay. And we can't glide yet because we don't have a second boomerang. Uh, what, how do I prefer to play these games? It's been so long since I've played a uh, third person game like this. It, my controls always feel weird. There, I think, I think that, that makes more sense to me, maybe. I can never remember if I actually play Flip or not, because it's that long between actually playing the game as uh, third person. Anyway, let's go see, uh, I don't remember what his name G'day, is. G'day, Julius. Ah, uh, that's it. Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. You know, a bit I was just bit making loud. some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <clears throat> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? Why is it it's so It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory micro-feeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Mm-hmm. Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder <clears throat> eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder, thunder eggs? eggs. Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <clears throat> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Wow. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Well, of course, help. they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the <clears> locals <throat> to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm <clears> sure you'll think of something. Righto, type. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Let's go to two up. Um, yeah, I think the game actually was a little bit loud there. Uh, oh god, no, don't. Definitely don't try to do it like that. No, let me put my cursor on the second screen, damn it. There we go. Much better. Um, so wait, if we... If we go into the sound options... There is not a separate, of course it's not a separate slider for, um, for the voice track. Why would there be? It's a PS2 game. Um, uh, let's turn that down a bit, I guess. Maybe. That might fix it. Uh, what is this about skins? Oh! Oh, cause, okay, so the remake actually came with some, uh, some cool stuff. Ghost Tiger. Alright then. Uh... <laughs> Why are these skins here? Why did Chrome bother to make these? Uh, sure, okay. Play a sly the entire game. Sure. Nah, we'll, we'll keep it classic. The only, that's the correct way to play it. Okay, so we're gonna find 17 Thunder Eggs. Um, let's go to 2 Up. That's the only place we can go. Press Wide Enter. 
This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, well, be and even a koala. koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. <laughs> Look at those fucking shadows. <laughs> oh. That went well. Listen, mate. I solved your problem. Did ya? I found you a second boomerang. Wow. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. That's advice for life. Perfect advice right there. Yeah, let's... All right, so first, the easiest thunder egg in the entire game. Oh, and oh god. Okay, how do I play? How do you play platformers? My oh, fucking god. <laughs> Is this what it's like to be a games journalist? There we go. Much better. Beauty, butler, bonza. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, seventy-one to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Now you'll have to use your wits to find all eight thunder eggs in each area. Right over then. That makes them. There's nine areas then. Okay, that makes sense. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Exactly. Something like that. Yep. Righto then. Uh, I gotta collect. I don't even know what these are called. Oh, they're sliding mechanics. Oh god. Gotta collect all, all these guys. I don't know what these are used for actually. Um, maybe they're for like buying new boomerangs. That might be it. Uh, okay, Julius is there. Truth time. You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Stop it. Bite button. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Move on, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. Right over then. You can bite enemies and other things Whoa. by pressing the bite Crazy. button. Crazy! Yes. Oh, I remember when I, I miss when games had tutorials like this. I was speaking to a bloke down the local water hole, and he reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoot Ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Alrighty then, press the throw button. There is no aiming in this game. You just magically hit the enemies. That's all you get. Uh, fun. The only problem I have with this game is because it was designed for the PS2. Like, what is this? Uh, like, why am I so close to the character? Like, this is dumb. Every like reasonably modern game, you'd be like at least another meter back from where he's positioned. But not, nah, not in this, because. Oh my god, that shadow. It's got like a grid effect on his head. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's... I love the hack they've got for the waterfall work. You know, it's like a shifting blue and orange under it. I like that. It's kind of cool. Uh. Wouldn't pass the good waterfall nowadays, but hey, it's fine. Oh, no. Not more cages. Struth! What happened here? 
What happened, Ty? He's caged all your bilby mates. Oh, not the bilbies. Across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. More collectibles. No worries. Unless your boss Cass. Chomp. Oh, what do you got for me? Oh, you young'uns, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And right you can adjust the camera distance oh, we can adjust the camera distance. pressing the camera distance button. God, thank, day, thank you. We had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. Oh, that's... Okay, yep, as far away as I can. That's... That's actually playable now. Okay, now I'm not gonna be fucking sick. Great, okay. That makes the game far more fun. I thought I was gonna be stuck with the camera in right up against my face. And there's a cog back here. I don't remember what the cogs were for. Um, it's been too long since I played this. And right, we can't swim yet because we haven't gone to the, uh, the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, there's another thing up there. That I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to get until you actually get your your next boomerang, but <laughs> it's fine if you can uh, if you can cliff up there. And we're gonna go this way. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> right, eh? All right then. Yeah, that's about as interesting as I am. Um, oh, what do you got here? Whoa! Oh no, some kangaroos! Oh, it's very dangerous. Yeah, not gonna, not gonna survive this. Are they just not gonna move? <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, this game was uh definitely made uh <laughs> for for those people who love real difficult games for sure. Uh, we can talk to Julius here. When I was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Why are they Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. I never understood why there were cameras on these. I don't- I still don't understand why. Like, I get they're flying. That makes sense, sure, but- But why are there cameras? What are the cameras doing there? Oh god, that was terrifying. Wait. Cool, cool. Whoa, got a hundred. I don't know why it shows a, a one in there and then still counts past a hundred. That seems a bit redundant to me, but sure. PS2 games. Okay. Oh, that worked well. Cool, cool. New Bilby. And keep going. As you can tell, this game is uh, it's quite linear. So you're not going to get lost very easily. Some of the later areas do open up a bit more. Uh, specifically like the snowy mountains and um, the, the outback. But, yeah. The, the tutorials are very, very linear in this game, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Let's get a lag spike. Huh. Okay. Maybe the game just wasn't well optimized for PC. Hmm. Ah, Jules yes. can tell us about it now. Cool. Yes. <clears throat> this just might do. Might do this. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. What'll that be, mate? 
the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. Whoa. You're on, mate. Okay, so these get me new boomerangs. What are the scales in, um... What do the scales do, then? Hmm. I don't remember. Being a, uh, <clears throat> a PS2 platformer, it just has collectibles non-stop. There's too many collectibles. Uh, it's not as bad as some games at the time. It's <clears throat> You can actually collect everything in a reasonable amount of time. And it's definitely not as bad as like the uh, modern Assassin's Creed games where it's like, Hey, just keep collecting things. Like, you want to go on, to, uh, on top of all the towers? Okay. Want to keep doing this and this and this and this and this? It's not as bad as that. Um, it still might take a while to get through everything, though. Um, and I think to get up there, do I need my second rang? Probably, because it's probably going to be a glide to get over there. Yeah, it's a glide to get over there. Okay, cool. I'll come back here, then. But we should be close to the second rang. I'll go with it. And, ah. That is a high head. I don't know what that is. I don't remember those being in the original game. But we can't get it until we uh, until we go to the Great Barrier Reef and learn how to swim. Because as we can see right now, uh, Ty is not the, the, the best swimmer. So let's just uh, avoid the water for now, that's for sure. Uh, okay, over here. Julius told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on oh, to okay, there is lock on. at any time <laughs> by pressing and holding the lock on button. We party now, it's Constitution Day and Australia Day on the same day. Oh, how you doing, man? Oh, God. Nope. That was a lock on. I don't think I, I don't think you know what a lock on is. That's not a, a lock on. Am I supposed to be able to kill this thing? I don't think so. Oh, I can bite it. Oh, okay. Yeah, get all the the opals. And if we go up here, we don't need to go up here, but there is a cog. One thing, so we can get more techno rings. I can't remember how many of these there are in each area, but they're useful to collect whenever you see them. I think the most open area in this game actually is the Great Barrier Reef. Because Outback is a big area, but Outback's also fairly linear, if I remember correctly. Because there's a lot of, um, a lot of driving sections. Yeah, that, that's not a lock-on. That's, that is, under no one's definition, a lock-on. Uh... Can we get that one, or do we need to be able to swim? No, we can jump up there, cool. Okay, we just got an achievement. <laughs> Alright then. I guess that was all of them for this area. Presumably. I don't know, maybe he just wanted to give me an achievement. You know, games like to do that. Oh, I can't actually uh, bite them. I thought I could. I thought if I did like a dive, maybe I could. But nope, bites don't work on those at all. Oh god. This game is uh definitely not running as nicely as it should be. That's uh, that's for sure. I should have a uh, FPS counter up. I I have a feeling it's actually running below 60 FPS. Hmm. PS2 games. Love it. Today was the whole session of ink on 1929. Constitution Day or Republic Day had a parade, so today no lockdown. Oh, that's cool. I was working all day, so yeah, I didn't really go and do much. Because for me, um, it's still a Tuesday like any other Tuesday, so yeah. Second boomerang. 
Oh, awesome. I've actually never been to Tasmania myself. Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. I did. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're going to have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was going to give you. All right. But a bunch of frills stole it. Oh, no. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. I think we go back a bit. Um, can we get this one? I don't know if we can get this one. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Uh, is that, that achievement going to go away? Is it just going to stay on my screen the entire time? No, it's... Oh, it must be an achievement in progress, not an actual completed achievement. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, God, the way it indicates that you're flying. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just great. I love it. You're moving so slowly that uh, it's hard to notice. Tea or coffee? Uh, generally, I prefer tea. I'm not a big coffee drinker anymore. I used to be. Um, the problem I found with coffee is that I was always like really like hyped up all the time. And I just... Yeah, as soon as I stopped drinking coffee all the time, I realized, like, wow. This is what it's like to actually feel kind of calm. And it's nice. So, I try not to drink coffee a lot. I sometimes still do. But, I don't drink it anywhere near as much as I used to. That's for sure. I feel like we weren't supposed to come over here at this point. But, we're here now, so... Yeah, screw the story. We're just gonna go do it our way. Uh, we'll get back to the story at some point. Uh, I think we're actually close to where we need to be anyway. And I'm not going to 100% this game as I'm playing it. Uh, if I if I happen to miss things, I miss things. I, I'm not the sort of person who likes to likes to play a game like that. I've, I've tried before and then I'm like, mm, nah. What is this? Oh. Oh, there's a life system in this game. Of course there's a life system in this game. Why wouldn't there be? And we go over here. That wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. I reckon with a little more practice, did we just we'll get there. Did we just break the story? Wait, did we just break the story? <laughs> we weren't supposed to go that way. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's fine. Break continuity. We don't need it. Uh, get the bilby here. And there's all the bilbies for this area. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, can we, like, get rid of the crocodile? My man. You gonna, like, come over near me so I can hit you? I don't... I think he will kill me if I go past him. Nope. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Oh, okay. That was uh, very close. Don't need to lose life straight away. Oh, we're probably close to where we needed to be. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Get over here. There we go. Oh, we didn't skip too much. This is where we're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, pretty as Hindi has 40... Wait. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do we got over here? Is that a, is this a life? Can we hit you? Mate, let me let me throw the bloody boomer at you. Get over here. There we go. No, no, you're not dead. Can I kill you? Oh, I should take three hits. Okay. That should be a life. 
Oh, oh, oh god, okay, look at this. So, <laughs> the game um, doesn't render the water when you're behind the waterfall like this. That's lovely. What a well-designed game this is. <laughs> oh, the cheats that happen with PS2 games. That, I, that's so good. I don't know if that's actually a problem with it being a PS2 game or if it's just a problem with it uh, running through Proton. Could be either, to be honest. There we go. And it's Thunder Egg. <sighs> and grab that one. Cool. cool. And we've got Biff. Killing crocodiles are illegal in your state. I. Uh, yeah, here, definitely not. I don't think Looks you can like hunt them here, but they do definitely get killed by the government, for sure. Seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. Crazy. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold Whoa. jump again to start gliding. Never seen a glide right. mechanic. Is that safe? Safe as ours is, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. I wonder if there's a way to skip... Oh, no, okay. This is actually an area we can't get past. You ripper! Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. Okay. Oh. Uh, What's that for? Right, that's for another thunder egg. The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. Speed run strats. <laughs> Let's go. Now that's enough. From me. It's a game made for Let's kids, it's not that difficult. Bly Bly station. No, not yet, mate. I've uh, I've missed a couple of um uh, couple of opals, so I wanna go back and get those. Uh I think Yeah, they're probably up this way, aren't they? Uh yeah, they're up there. And we have to go around, shit, okay. I probably should have done all that stuff before I walked around. Now I have to go all the way back. I was already have a thousand gar, gar, garial, a, a dangered crocodile found in Bengal uh, area. Uh, okay. Mate means something else here. What does mate mean for you then? Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess for a lot of people, mate, it gave me something different. Oh, look at those textures. That's beautiful. I love that. Um, that's the wrong way. That's not where I want to go. Uh, I think, no, I want to go down here anyway. Yeah. Okie dok. And we're going to go across here. And that's where I missed them. Okay. I don't know if that's all. That seems like a weird number to end on. I've missed four of them. Oh, okay, there. Oh, God, I thought I'd missed them somewhere weird. And this thing. Oh, right, that's a thing that exists, isn't it? I don't know what this is supposed to be for. Oh, we just got- oh, almost got stuck there. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a- maybe this is just supposed to be to clear out the enemies. And we weren't actually supposed to do it by hand. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's go finish the area then. Uh, 
That's not where we're supposed to go. That's this this way. Thank you, arrows. The arrows that won't be here later. Uh, and and we missed a cog as well. Okay, let's grab the cog while we're here as well. Look at these complex, uh, these complex, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, platforming mechanics. Yeah, that's the one. Very complex platforming. Uh, you have to be a professional platformer to do this. Glide across the water. We actually need to deal with the other crocodile. And up here. Uh, and I went the wrong way, didn't I? Have I somehow gotten lost in this game? Ah, oh, here we go. That's where we wanted to go. <clears throat> and that should be all, everything for this area. Oh, besides the, um... Well, how you doing? And go here. So, we want to go back to the, the start. Oh, you're going to tell me about you it see first. these funny-looking mushrooms? Yeah, mate. A bloke down at the local water hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Don't eat the funny mushrooms. What can happen with the funny mushrooms? I think we tell all back to the start of the level. Ah, there we go. Cool. And Welcome to the track. track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. Righto. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one, and the race is over. <laughs> Good luck. Alrighty then. Whoa, it's very difficult. How am I ever going to be able to do this? <laughs> oh, lord, lord. I think I'd slower if I do it like that. Uh, I think with the, uh, the Steam release, it actually comes with a uh, leaderboard as well. So, I could actually just do speedrun strats the entire day and just... I don't know if it's quicker to jump, but... Um, yeah, I could just try to get the quickest possible time. And I'm sure there are people that will do that. There we go. Easy. That was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, you beauty! Could you not give me that from the start? Uh, I use Epic to do all my domain stuff. Because, yeah, I, there's plenty of them out there. I wouldn't recommend GoDaddy. GoDaddy's had some, uh, they've done some kind of sketchy stuff over time, like canceling people's domains and stuff. I wouldn't recommend them. Epic, I don't have a problem with. Um, there we go. Me and a person who started with you in the same year and same class. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. And that should be everything for Sarah. Except, obviously, um, the, the, the photos there, which I have no idea how to get. I think a lot of those you need to be able to swim for, though. Oh, time for more cutscenes. Terrible looking PS2 cutscenes. I found it. I found it. Let me see that. At last, a misfit talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon, unimaginable power will be mine, mine, mine. <laughs> I haven't tried um, Najala, so I couldn't tell you anything about that. Um, yeah, I have no idea if that one's good. If it is, that's cool. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thunder eggs power this talisman machine. Yep. Make sure you visit all the portals. Yep. Okay. Oh, we can go through there now. Cool. Um, 
So now that we have two boomerangs, we can start collecting some of the other uh, scales. So throughout the, uh, I don't know. If, I know that area is called Blabla Station. I don't know what this area out here is called. Uh, there are these scales that appear around the place. Um, actually, it's probably not even worth trying to collect them because a lot of them you need about swim for anyway. Uh, I might, yeah, that makes more sense. I might just leave those for now, actually. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that later. I don't remember what the second area is. Is it's not Great Barrier Reef straight away, is it? What is Trial Room? I, I don't know. What is Trial Room? Look at this house. Look at this awful looking house. Let's go back here. Oh, you little ripper, Ty! You found a fair dinkum rainbow scale. When you find oh, enough, take trail. them to the Bunyip Elder at Rainbow Cliffs. Righto then, to the Bunyip Elder at Rainbow Cliffs. Um, shipwrecks. Okay, that's a Great Barrier Reef. And there's another one hidden back here. Maybe there is. I don't know. There is. Oh, those are the easiest ones you get. Uh, this one is Walk in the Park. What in the world is Walk in the Park? Loki Network. Uh, what is the... I've got a phone here. I could just look it up on my phone, couldn't I? <laughs> okay. Uh, Loki Network is... Oh, Spitting Room. Okay. Uh, I'm getting messages from people. Uh, Loki Network. What is the Loki network? It is... Loki is a privacy network which allows users to transact, communicate privately over the internet. I... I don't know. I, if it's done well, more private stuff is cool. Um... Oh, it's a crypto. That's what... It, it's... It seems... Okay. So, okay. I... I don't know anything about it, so I can't say. I have no idea what this area is. Let's go to walk in the park. Smell Wait, is it this early in the game? What? There. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those leeches. Okay, we'll come back here actually because there's water. Um, can we leave? Actually, that's a question. I have no idea. <clears throat> Are we able to leave? Uh, exit level. Yes. Uh, we'll come back here because I know that there's. Things we will need to be able to swim for. So it makes more sense to go over here. It's still in beta. It's like poor, but nodes get paid. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> Welcome to the Great, great Barrier, Barrier Reef. Reef. Full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beautiful spot for a swim, if you know how. And we don't know how. What do we got up here? Anything hidden up here? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What was that? Wait. What in the world? There's a hidden box there. I guess that's where if we complete when we complete the level, there's probably gonna be a thing. Oh no, Great Barrier Reef's not a big one. I was thinking of a completely different level, one way later in the game. Oh, okay, so that's the uh, the hidden boxes that you get the portraits from. I don't know if there's anything important in the portraits. Uh, with the portrait. Um, okay, that's annoying to hit. Okay, do like that. Much easier. Okay, so let's go. Probably things that we can get in there as well. We can't swim yet, can we? Oh, this is very much a PS2 platformer. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh god, this is difficult. There we go. No. Uh, okay. There's a decentralized messaging app called Set. Oh, is this what Session is? People keep telling me about it. I have no idea. I had no idea what it was though. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. 
I think later in the game we can burn these down with the um the flamerang, but we don't have that yet. That may I'm pretty sure that's the case. I could be wrong. Let's learn how to swim. Look at the crabs. Look at these very, very low poly crabs. <laughs> oh my god, those are those are the most low poly crabs I've ever seen. They don't even have the uh, little things connecting their eyes. Their eyes are just floating above their head. I love that. It's awesome. PS2 games. Ah. Uh. Die, mate. Good to see you again. Yeah, mate. Shit, hey Rex. You saved anyone today? Funny you should say that. Elle went for a bit of a swim out near Danger Spike. Danger Spike? Where's that, Rex? It's a nice little spot, not too far from Shark Reef. Oh, Shark Reef. Yeah, and? Well, anyway, she's an excellent swimmer, but she hasn't come home yet. What the fuck is this audio quality? I'm starting to get a bit worried. Struth. I'm on life. Oh, God, now it's back to normal. Could you ever look for me? Well, I would, mate, but... I, I can't swim. Oh no. Tell you what, I'll teach you. Follow me. Let's learn to swim from the platypus. When you're in water, press the bite button to dive. Then tap the jump button to start swimming. Okay. Wish me luck. By the way, those boomerangs of yours won't work underwater. But I got a prezzy for you that'll fix that. These are aquarangs. Oh, aquarangs. I found them in an old shipwreck. We're just showing ago. the water right now. They cut through water We're like not... a hot knife through butter. We can't see the aquarangs. If you can dive under the water and grab them, well, then they're all yours. I, I play episode. I, I don't... What is it? What is episode? Uh, let's, let's dive. Whew. Swimming. Up. <laughs> if you just don't press the swim key, the game is just like, nah... You're just gonna, you're just gonna float. <laughs> this is, this is how I feel every day. <laughs> also, there's, I, I'm guessing there's no air mechanic in this game, or at least during the tutorial. Doesn't care. Oh, there we go. Finally, wow, we can hold our breath for a long time. Ah, uh, that one. There we go. Oh my god, the. The swimming mechanics in this game is gross. Good one. The aquarangs work like regular boomerangs, but you can only use them underwater. Whoa, crazy. Oh, and one other thing. You're not a fish, mate, so keep an eye on your air supply. Why did it just Thanks, appear over his eye? Use the aquarang to hit this switch. It'll open the shark door so you can be on your way. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I mainly use a uh, start page myself. I find that start page typically gives me much better results. Uh, because, you know, start page is just Google in the background. Um, I know you can find Elle, mate. She'll show you the way to danger, Spike. Right oh. And remember, when you're in water, press the bite button to dive. I know, mate. Then press the jump button continuously to start swimming. Does this platypus have fingers? Okay, no worries. I think this platypus has fingers. I've commented on the beautiful textures in this game previously, but um, this is no exception. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, right, if we uh, we tap A, uh, we swim faster. Okay. Right, I knew there was a way that made this game tolerable in swimming sections. Ah, Cyrex, yeah, that's a good plan. Great work. You've learned how to swim and use those aquarangs. How are you talking to us? With a bit of practice, you'll be a champion swimmer just like me. You beauty. Oh, okay, we came all the way this back over. This is my That's good why. mate. She'll show you the way to danger, Spike. Righto, good mate. Good luck, mate. Yeah, mate. Hey, Ty. You can swim faster by tapping the jump button to gain speed. Crazy. <laughs> Let's go find L. You look terrifying me. What is wrong with your eyes? Um. Oh lord, the other uh, sw swimming in this game is gross. Not net hack, yeah. It's not net hack. No, sorry. Sorry, hum. It's uh, I wanted to play. I wanted to play a game by an Australian developer. So here we are. Um. 
I will play NetHack at some point. Um, pro I'll probably play NetHack on the main channel, to be honest. No. Oh, it's done. I like that. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, this enemy's underwater. Of course there is. I'm pretty sure the other boss for this area is a, uh, a shark. We have to, like, feed him food or something. Oh, you can come over here. Bam, bam. No, you... Hey, no, you die. There we go. We jump on these, get up. Oh, jump, jump on these, and we get our opals. Uh, it, 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 it. There we go. Yeah, Google is kind of bad. Um... Oh, uh, I hear Mind Test is a good game. I haven't played it, but I, I will have to do that. No, mate. I want to go collect things, because the platformer. And platformers on the PS2 mean just fucking running around collecting shit. Uh, there we go. Your big fish is going to kill me. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do to me, actually. Are you going to kill me? Do I have to throw a boomerang at you? I do. Nope. I, do, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. Maybe I can't kill you. Maybe you just don't... Eat. Maybe you just don't eat me. Uh, mine test can run. Nine mine. Interface. To Inferno. Someone made a DT song. What do you mean? Wait, I, I need more information here. What do you mean someone made a DT song? Uh, oh god. Okay, over here. Uh, okay, no, we don't want to go over there. How do we get up there? That is the question. Oh, we can jump up there. Okay, that's fine. Bam! Second Bilby! First Bilby? Okay, first Bilby. I thought it was uh, gonna go up one more. Do, 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 do. What are you? Oh, dearie me. My sweet little angels have wandered How can we off hear exploring. You? Now I can't find them anywhere. Oh, God. Please, can you help me? I will have to go listen to that. Uh, do you wanna, do you wanna find your kids or something? Yeah, you want to find your kids. I don't know where your kids are. Ah, there are your kids. That was easy. Doo -doo. Oh. Hitbox is very, uh, very small. My god, stop fucking moving! Yay! Why are they not doing anything? What are you... There we go. It, it, there, there we go. Fuck, that was difficult. Okay. So we have to go find your bloody kids. Oh, they're, they're all going to be in this area, I guess, maybe. My babies. My babies. But where are the others? Okay, let's... Can we find all your kids? Eh. Eh. Oh, God, this... Stop having tiny hitboxes, no. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh god. Okay. What do I mean? Why is your nickname White? I don't know. Why is your nickname White? What? I... Uh, probably because you're not a uh, mod in here. You're a mod on the uh, the main channel. I don't know why I've made you a mod here, actually. Probably because you never show up to the gaming channel, actually. That, that would be why. 
Uh, okay, that's five out of eight. There we go, cool. Woohoo! Woo that looks more like 68, which is I really. I would hate having to collect that many. Uh. Okay, let's. Doo 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 Babies. But where are the others? Shut up. Just, you don't need any more kids. You got eight of them already. You have six of them. I lost the other two. <laughs> where are the other two? They're going to be around here somewhere. I think they're all in this uh, little area. At least I hope they are and they didn't like scatter them across the entire level. With most of them being here, I surely the rest of them have to be as well. Oh god. The, uh, the... The camera doesn't work the way I would expect it to. There we go. Better. Eesh. There we go. This way. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. I try. I try. And this way. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Hammer moves in a real weird way. Uh, the guard. And somewhere around here, there'll be bloody stupid. Whatever they are. Seahorses, that's what we're looking for. Uh, kids are in a bang. What? What? Wait. Wee, what are you doing, mate? The kids are in a Bengal, a Bengal fish market to be barged on and eaten. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, why is the camera like that? No, you die. Distro tube is a baller arch installer. Oh my lord, that's a uh, that's a that's a title. I reckon the, uh... Oh, okay, they actually did properly texture it down there. I thought they would have just given up. Hmm. And over here? Oh, maybe there's some over there. Okay, oh, got stuck behind a tree. Lovely. Ah. Oh, bargaining. Okay. Okay, okay. That makes sense. No, I'm not going to bother with you guys. I don't care. Uh, I don't know what these big fish are here for. What are they going to do? Oh, they're going to eat me. That's what they're going to do. Okay. Oh, and we found the last one. How are you going, best the best? Uh, we dropped these fish. The fish, the uh, seahorse is back. There we go. We're here. Asians know everything. <laughs> My precious babies. babies. My precious babies. Thank you so much, little orange fish creature. How can I ever repay Don't ever call me a fish. Hey, I know. You can have this sparkly rock I found in the sand. Oh, sparkly rock. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Rose of the Red Finals of Blue. There's always an Asian that's better than you. Oh, that's, uh... I, I can agree with that, yeah. Uh... Okay, we want to go a way. 
not this way, this way. This is the way of going. And... Up here. Oh, no. No! Get away from me! God, wrong way. That way. Wim Bengal love fish. That's cool. Fish is good. I think most people like fish, but hey. Oh, what's this? Oh, the area we wanted to get into. Cool, cool, cool. What do we have in here? Oh, there's a crab. I'm a box on with the crab. Let's get over here, mate. Bam! That was easy. Oh god, that was loud. Uh, okay. I don't know why I have a notification for subscribers. Probably shouldn't have that. Uh, I will maybe fix that. Or maybe won't. I don't know. Oh, that's quicksand, apparently. I don't know if that was a subscriber for the, uh, the... The YouTube or the Twitch? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. And we're dead. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. That's a... Uh... That's a quick way to die. Why don't I have a C-Rex instance? That is a very good question. That doesn't have a very good answer. Um, because I haven't got around to it. That's that's sort of the only reason why. I should, because it would be a good idea. But, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Well, you die. And if I fall into this, I die. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Good to know. And that was easy enough. Eh. What? And. Point. And I saw a head down there. Where do I go? That way. That way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we should be able to get across that at this point. I think we need to wait till later. Maybe? Oh yeah, we can jump up with the other uh, fountain there. Or the, 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 whatever it is. Guys, that one. That's the one I'm thinking of. And health, which we don't need because we're at full health. Because I am an elite gamer. Oh, cog. I actually don't know where most of the cogs in this game are, so uh, if I see them, I will collect them. I never, I don't think I've actually completed this game, to be honest. Like, I, I love the game, and I love what I played, but I don't think as a kid I ever actually finished it. Oi. There we go. And... Oh. It just, it just launches us straight up. We don't do anything about it. Oh, okay. Should not have, uh, should not have fallen, apparently. And now we wait here for a while while we collect all the opals. This drink is good. I like it. There is no way we can go through this faster. We just have to wait. Wait. And wait. And just keep waiting. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Look at those amazing, uh, amazing uh, particles right there. You can see them as they disappear. Uh, I would like a sitar except guitar in game. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let's go over here. And I oh, thank God it didn't fall. That would have taken. Too long. Too long to get back here. 
having more platforms makes this harder, even though they're equally spaced apart. Very difficult, very difficult game. Uh, Be a little now. And one more, and we will have enough to get our first Techno Rang. Which I don't remember what the first Techno Rang is. It might be the Flamer Rang. Because the Ice Rang uh, is useful to get into a later game area, so you probably don't want to give that away too early. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, that is the, uh, the dead... Well, that is a surprisingly long rest render distance. I can actually see the things that are... I can see all the opals that are up there. That's actually impressive. I don't know if it was like that in the original game or not. If it was, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy for a PS2 game. And it's a cog. Awesome. And we should have cleared this area out after we get around this section. And then we have to go up to the deadly spike. And that is a uh, portrait right there. Cool. Another portrait here. Bite your butt. And bite. Oh. Or smash my head in the ground. That's also an option. Uh, and bite you. The very high poly, high poly crab. And up here, up here, up here, and get the bilby. Can we, how do we get over there? I don't know how to get over there. Um, we might need a later game rang, actually. Very possible. Because, you know, PS2 platformers, they like to have Metroidvania aspect. Because, <laughs> of course they do. Uh, and we're gonna go up here, grab you. And that is five cogs, enough for our first Techno Rang. Cool. We'll go and grab it when we uh, we get back to um, Rainbow Cliffs. Grab a pie. Health's full again. Okie doke. And missed one. Don't want to miss them. It's very easy to miss one and then just never complete the level again because you have no idea where you missed it. Okay. I think we just go around here, and we should be back to where we were. Oh god! <laughs> okay, screwed that up. Let's uh, let's not dive there. Okay, so we'll clear out all of those ones out. We go this way. Yep, this way. Careful, Ty. Careful, Ty. Those eels look pretty nasty. Do they? Are they, are they going to do anything or we just swim above them? We, they literally just do nothing. We just swim above them. And the sharks. That's good. I like sharks. Uh, do you think karma pays off? I, Whether it does or not, I don't think is super important. Because regardless, if it gives you a reason to be like a better person, I think that's worth in the end. And if you this way. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But if it's gonna be your reason to be a better person, that's cool enough. What is this soundtrack here? Yeah, mate. They are sharks. Press the action button to swim into the cage. Press the action button again to swim out. Follow me. <laughs> I think this might be the most annoying characters in the entire series. Can we clip through here? Now nah, the game, the game is well designed in some ways. Damn. Surely there's some way we can break this game and clip through here. Surely. Surely. There has to be. No? Okay. I'm not going to stay here too long. Hey, Ty. Hey, Ty. Shut up. It said R to get in here. The actual button is a uh, Y. The game doesn't even know what its own controls are. I'm 
Maybe I can kill the shark. It's probably not. Probably why the caves are here. Oh god, I got stuck. Uh... I have a word from... Uh, Indic Lang's... Leap the A while pronouncing it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Why are you not worrying about the sharks? You just don't even care, it's just gonna get eaten. That's cool. What happened with the bomb there? What up? <laughs> Alright. Uh, nothing in those ones. I have a feeling that knowing a game like this, there's probably something hidden around. Okay. Uh, that was not what I tried to do. Follow me. me. There's probably like some hidden collectible around here that we can get. At least uh, if I was developing a game like this, I would do that. But maybe I'm also just a terrible person. Okay, let's not take damage there. I think sharks are pretty cool. Rather not be in the water with them, but... When I'm not, it's good. They're cool. Oh, that is not the way we need to go. I like whales. Really harm. Could never tell. Okay. Oh, well, that's useless. Oh, we're gonna go down here. Are the sharks just not gonna come through now that we left the shark door open? No. Nah. That's, that's too convenient. Uh... I don't know what, what even the point of that collectible is. It's just like, oh, magnets. Like, okay, we'll just... You don't need a magnet if you just go in a straight line. Okay. It, okay. Is there anything around here to collect? Maybe? Oh, this is deadly... Deadly whatever it's called. Deadly... Who's the what's it? Yeah, I was when I thought of the uh, the Great Barrier Reef, I was thinking of a level way later in the game. There's another swimming level. Um, that one is actually massive. Oh, we're not going to get a cutscene while we're here. Okay. I think there's like a volcano and stuff on that one. But that's no, that's that's, that's definitely the Great Barrier Reef level. Oh god, I don't like that. That was shaking too much. Why is there a button here? What does the button do? Button! Hit it! There's something. Maybe it moves these? Try to cook, uh, Paneer Buzari, an Indian junk food. I don't know what that is, but that sound- I like the- I like the sound of- I don't know what it is, but I like the sound of it. Sound- If it's some Indian junk food, Indian food's generally good, so... If it's Indian food that's terrible for you, but uh, people enjoy it, it must be good, must be good in some way. Uh, oi, get away from me, fish! I want I want you in my life. I want you in my life. Do 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 do. There are four people sitting here watching me play Tide Tasmanian Tiger for some reason. I don't understand why. Um, but hey, that's cool. Your night or day, whatever time it is. Very very early in the morning if you're an American. Ah, oh, this is the end of the level right here. And go up. Why? Is, who left their their beach chairs like uh, just in the water? Such a useful item. Uh, go up here. Oops. There we go. No, get back here. And I fucked it. Healthy in... Wait. Which is... Bought healthy in milk vegetables. Mm. 
get the cog. Seven out of ten cogs here, so... I don't know. I imagine there's one of them in that area that we didn't go to just yet. Can you install Linux from scratch? Well, yes. Uh, I can't, but it can be done. <laughs> How many collectibles do we have left? Oh, we've collected basically nothing. But we have got almost all of the, the bilbies. But I know one of them's in that area I didn't go to just yet. And there's another bilby. So maybe there's one on top of the... No, the one, the other one is the place we can get to. Uh, so we know where the last one of that is. Ah, uh, damn. I thought I could like Skyrim it up the mountain. That'd be nice. Anyway, let's go up the mountain. Go, go. Oh, cool, the, the camera actually moves. As if you're playing, like, a difficult platformer, like Crash. Speaking of Crash, I actually do own Crash on PC as well. And I will play that at some point. Uh, I don't know when. At some point, but... And I will probably die more than I've died here, which is zero. Zero times. Because dying in this game is, uh, quite difficult. Unless you just do something dumb. Like, if I was to dive bomb into the ground right now... Oh, I physically can't control my camera. That's a good design. Uh, I'm just going to keep running in a circle. This is so difficult. Not any traps, nothing. Just running in a circle. Yep. I'm struggling with this right now. There we go. Cool. Oh, Lord. That's, that's, that's a terrifying sight right there. What am I looking at? What is this thing? I want this thing to be out of my life as quickly as possible. Hey, Dad, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, good. And what about you? Let me guess. Rex was worried about me again. Yeah, that's right. Please just jump off Isn't this he tower. A sweetheart. Well, I better get home so he stops fretting. Right, I think. As long as you're not near me. By the way, I found this on the way. Thank you. Want it? Oh, this is the end of the level. Okay, there's more stuff up here, though. What the? F I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can you clip on? <laughs> Why can you clip onto this? What? what? <laughs> That's obviously a bug and was not intended. Um, and there's a cog. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Okay, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good skybox there. It really does. I was gonna say it really does blend in, and then you actually notice where the level really ends, and it doesn't blend any, a uh, blend in anymore. But wow, this has a real... What the hell? All those things over there are actually properly being rendered. That is a ridiculous render distance for a game like this. Okay. But that's a... Yeah, you're not supposed to examine that. Same with along, like, along there. It's like, you're not supposed to examine that and notice how bad it looks. But, um... There is a quick way down from here. I don't remember where it is, though. Is it this way? Yeah, cool. We should be able to go. Not like that. <laughs> but we didn't die. Because apparently fall damage can't kill you in this game. As perfectly as planned. That was not a mistake. I promise. Um... Let's see. Let's see if we can get through that um, the area I thought I couldn't get to. Maybe, maybe I just missed something. Oi! What the fuck, you think you're doing, mate? <laughs> the sharks are a bit dumb here. Ooh. 
right what we say in India is not slang. And we go this way. Go up here. Oh. Oh, there's a box there. I saw that from the other side. Okay. Uh, what, what do we still have? So, 300 opals. Okay, that's fine. Bilbies. We know where the last one is. Race Rex. Yep. Quicksand Coconuts. Shipwreck. Is Shipwreck the boss fight? What do those question marks mean? Oh, no. Shipwreck's way over. That's... Okay, so we need to get through that area to do the Shipwreck. Uh, th the one we have on the right-hand side there... That is the opal, so we do have to go over here. Uh, how do we get back in here, though? I don't remember. Oh, I just... oh it was down here. It was down there. Okay. Oi! No. X is KH. Every time I talk to you, tell me some weird pronunciation that happens in your language. I don't understand it. Every single time. I, d I Surely you have to run out of weird pronunciations at some point. Um. Hmm. There's coconuts here. The coconut's important. Coconuts are important. Right, okay. Aha. I'm 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 as smart as a child who can work this plan out. See, I think I struggled with this when I was a kid and couldn't work it out. Actually to be fair, I struggled with it like five minutes ago. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't be giving myself that much credit. There we go. Easy. We pronounce A as A. Well only sometimes, depending on uh depending on what word you're you're pronouncing. There we go. Easy. Okay. That was the quicksand coconuts. So, now we want to go... The other way, maybe? I guess so. They do fall like it. So, we can't just... We don't get an infinite path. That'd be nice. Remember that you can't glide me. You haven't got the second, uh, second one back. Okay. Okay. So... I don't know how we get over there. We need to get up here. Here somehow. Uh, is it up there? Where do we need to get to? Yeah, it's, it's right there. Um, how do we get there? I have no idea. Um, no, this is running through Proton. Uh, which would explain the uh, the various bugs that we're getting that shouldn't be there. I have no idea how to get over there. Um, is there like something we can hit here? Um, I'm probably overthinking this. Uh, 
Maybe it's like going around here or something? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's a box here. Wait, didn't I come here before? How did I miss that? If I can't, if I've already been here, how did I miss that? Um, okay, it's not here. I don't know. Have I ever played Tux Cart? No, I haven't, but uh, I, sh I should at some point. It looks like I can get over to it from that, from like over there, but I couldn't see how. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have to do that one later. I'll, I'll work it out later. Uh, for now, we're just gonna leave that and do the race with uh, with with my boy Rex, and be done with this area, or sort of done with this area. Oh, fucking shark jumping out of the water! I might do a um a a stream on the main channel for Tux Car. That's what I was thinking. What? Oh, wait, I saw a box. Oh, there's a box way in the air. What? Why? Why is there a box way in the air? Oh, is that from the area that I can't work how to get to? <laughs> Surely there's got to be like a, a a way you can like get up there. Yep. Maybe we can like click. Can we glitch over there? Maybe? That might work. Cool, getting close. Oh my god, we're actually getting real close by doing that. <laughs> okay, this is not the intended way to do this, but maybe we can. Uh No. Come on, let me let me flip over there. Come on. You know you're a broken PS2 game. Ah, uh, nope. Come on, let me do it. Ah, no. Wait, do we not? We didn't <laughs> We didn't even need the coconuts for that one. Hmm. I have to be missing something really obvious. Oh, if you shake your control, if you shake your stick back and uh, back and forth, you can get across that. Um, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go. I keep saying I'm going to leave this area, and then I just don't. I'm going to feel really dumb when I work out how we actually go across there. Like, really, really dumb. I have a feeling that all of the, the rest of the stuff we need is actually over there. So, yeah, um, that's good. Down over here. And there's the, uh, the time attack. Oh lord, it's the, it's this thing again. This thing is back. So, Ty, are you up for a race? No. See if you can keep up. We have to race the platypus. Ah, okay, so the way you beat him is that he's slower on land. I was gonna say. Otherwise, there'd be no way to win this race. Speaking of nowhere to win this race, uh, don't fuck up and miss one, because you might not be able to win this race. Uh, 
All you want for a rice? What am I ricing? Let's hope I didn't just screw that entire race up now. Oh no, it's gonna be Deadly Spire, isn't it? Okay. Why, why did he decide to race me on the mountain that he's gonna lose on? What a, what a very dumb platypus this is. Well, that was easy. I've won now. I like to eat rice is good. Yeah, rice is good. I like to eat rice as well. Yeah, we're gonna get myself some uh, Japanese food for lunch tomorrow. That'd be nice. Yeah, I eat rice a lot as well. Maybe not every day, um, but most days, I would say. Wow, that was so difficult. You little ripper. You fair dinkum beat me. I've trained you well. A fair dinkum did. My uh, swimming coach gave this to me when I first beat him in a race. Now I want you to have it. Wow. Gee, thanks, mate. Cool. Cool. And I still have no idea how to get to the area that I couldn't get to before. Um, so, on that note, let's go to the next area then. Where are the, uh, where are the mushrooms? The ma where are my magic mushrooms? Magic mushrooms, where are you? Uh, oi, got any, got any magic mushrooms? Nope, where are they? They should be around here to let me teleport to the end of the map. Where they at? Where they at? I don't want to run all the way over there again. That's too much effort. Oh, sorry, bump the mic. Well, okay, I guess we will then. Since we're not collecting anything, it should be a fairly quick to get across there. It's quicker to actually go through the war than I think to run. Who needs to worry about air? We don't need air where we're going. Perfect. Deal with the sharks later by, you know, not dealing at all. Oi! Oi! What are you doing? There we go. I don't know if I even took any damage from that. Eh, where's the... No. That's... That's the one I wanted. Uh... I was thinking maybe we, like, glided over there, but no, that's not gonna work. That's way too far. I don't know. We'll just end the level. I'll show you the magic mushroom. The magic mushrooms are there to magically take us to the end of the level. Oh, we have... Fuck, we have to go up the spire. Of course the end of the level is at the spire and not by the opals. Forgot about that. Up the super boring spire again. For the third time. It doesn't get any easier any time. It's just as boring. The first, the second, and the third time. I think in the, uh, the next area, we finally get to meet our brother. Fly. Fly is a... He's an evil Tasmanian tiger. He's working with the evil Boss Cass. I don't remember why he's working Boss Cass, but pretty sure he is. 
And we also get to meet Larry the Liarbird. Lenny? I don't remember what his name is. There's see magic mushrooms. Told you, I wasn't lying. Now let's go get ourselves a techno rank. I wish there was like a running. Oh, wait, is that tree not solid? It's partially not solid, maybe? Okay, no, it might be solid. I think we just might flip through it. Let's. While we're here, we might as well grab a rainbow scale. Uh, and this is where the talismans are gonna go. Oh no, this is where we can. Okay, cool. So that's how we select our rain here. Oh god. <laughs> that Julius is a fair dinkum genius. Is he? Alrighty then, mate. I thought you had something better to say than Julius the fair dinkum genius. Hmm. Um, how we that one? Yeah, that's what I want to get to. I don't know if there's any rainbow. Oh, there is a rainbow skull here. Okay. I really wish this texture wasn't being, lo uh, being loaded this time as well. That would make the game even better. Because then I reckon most of the textures in the, uh, the Great Barrier Reef wouldn't be loading either. Th those frogs are just sitting completely underwater. Just no qualms about it. Okay. That takes us that way. Okay, let's go this way instead. It might be, it's taking us near the waterfall. There might be something hidden over here. And we fuck it up, because that's what I do. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Um, I was the one to get up here. Go that way. Go another one. And I fucked it up again. Okay, we're not doing that. I think that... Okay, rainbow scale here. I don't know where they are. I don't think I ever got all the rainbow scales, actually. I don't think you need to get all of them to get any reward from the bunyip. I think it's just as you get more of them, you get rewards. I could be wrong. Pretty sure this right here is for the uh, the final area in the game. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Could be very mistaken though. Uh, how do you manage to hide 25 collectibles in a very small area like this? Apparently very fucking well, that's how. Uh, Go up this way? Guess we can get up this way. And let's go this way. Oh, oh. well, can't do anything to you guys. Let's just go around. The is there anything here? There is a one up that I haven't needed to use. And a rainbow scale. What is this furry achievement I just unlocked? Break a living. I don't know what that's supposed to be. How are you in two places at once, my man? Do you clone yourself? Anything over here? Rainbow scale, as there should be. Uh, we need at 
least this many fire thunder eggs to power the talisman machine. At least this many. Why is this so? Well, we can't record voice lines. The power of the flammaraneous eggs convert extraneous matter into a Go Walsh matrix hum. for the production of plasma. With options on a dual overhead multi-valve, four-speed automatic transaxle, this gives us illusory results. Uh-huh. Keep looking, Ty. That was the most bullshit I've ever heard. But we can get a rang. Oh my! You found enough golden cogs, haven't you? Yep, we have. These will be perfect for my latest invention. Oh, no. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Do you know? It's a machine I designed. To create cutting edge techno Why is that bangs? pencil bigger than your fucking oh eye? My. This is very nice. It's a zoomerang. It's a zoomer. The zoomerang has a built in telescopic aimer. Press the ties view button to activate it. We have Use now become a zoomer. To aim zoom, and the zoom. camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies zoom. for greater throwing accuracy. Zoom, zoom, zoomies. Now, worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. I. Well, yeah, we got a got a rang. Whoa! Look at that! Look at our zoom, zoom, zoomy rang. Well, that, so that took us nowhere. I think this has a use for one of the levels. Like, there might be a, a button really far away and you need the Zoomerang to get it. I love the name Zoomerang. That's a fucking great name. Uh, I think... Where do we... Oh. I don't know where the, the Elder is. He might be behind here, actually. Yeah, we might actually need the Frost Ring to get this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember. Wow, that is... That, how far does this go? Does it just keep going? Oh, no, it eventually turns back. And let's go on to... It's a lizard. Look at this low poly lizard. <laughs> um, I just keep being distracted by everything. And let's go back to here then. Hmm. We need uh five more thunder eggs. Uh, this should now it's shipwrecks there. We want to go to this one. Walk in the park. Ah, oh, smell that fresh rainforest there. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those leeches. Oh no, the leeches! Let's go. Oh, perfect. Yep. Exactly as planned. I don't think those drop randomly. I think they just drop in a very in a set area. Could be wrong. I have a I have a uh, distinct feeling though. Uh, okay. Oh, there's nothing here. Why Why can we step on these rocks then? What was the point of that? Don't give me hope here. I want to ruin your game. That's always a fun thing. If you ever go to like a, um, a gaming convention and they have like an indie games room, just go in there and try to break all of the games. Any game developer that's like worth playing their game, when that happens, they will be very happy you did that. 
If they get annoyed, just don't even ever bother playing their game. Our good friend Shazza can get herself into a pickle sometimes. This time, her truck has broken down at the end of the forest road. Yoo-hoo! Yo-ho! But if that isn't bad enough, I spotted some blue tongue oh, lizards Oh, not some blue tongue lizards. You reckon you can give her a hand? Shoot bet, I'm on my way. Yeah, as I was saying, any dev that uh, can't accept that there are problems with their game and won't accept people like trying to, you know, break it for them and try to find some bugs isn't really worth talking to. Oh no. We're not supposed to be back here. Okay, cool. We can get out of there. Uh, cool. Easy. I think there's these random flowers here. Random, very low raised flowers. Oh, we can zoom in. Oh lord. Oh, that's what it means by we have a zoom. Okay. Oh, now we can look at stuff even more low res. There we go. Now the cog. Cog. Cog dog. <laughs> oh, how did that miss? What are you on about, mate? What are you on about? Is there anything here? I feel like this thing's here. Nope, this is just an empty area. <laughs> the water's flashing in and out of existence. <laughs> Lovely. Um, oh, okay, so you, that's if you fall down here, it shows you how to get out. Boop. Nope, missed it. And there's a wallaby, uh, wallaby, there's a bilby down there. Uh, and that's how you break your neck. Uh, whoop. And we probably weren't supposed to jump down here at this point, but we're here now. Um, okay, cool, we can get out easily. With a flower that devours us. I, I like that. Oh, we were supposed to jump down there. Okay, cool. No, you die. Uh, get some pie. What are you? Here's some free advice. Cool. Certain enemies deflect your rings with their thick skins, but are hopeless against those pearly whites of yours. <laughs> so sometimes you have to bite the bad guy. Wow. Oh, we'll screw that up. Oh, no. Oh, he's dead now. We had to bite him twice. That's interesting. Uh... Nothing down that way. Let's go east way then. Uh, well, oh, okay, we got over there through the rocks. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. I do have some uh, some PS4 games I want to go and stream at some point. Like I've got um. I've never actually finished playing off the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 collection. I didn't finish off um, Aqua's game, so I want to go and play that at some point. I'll probably do it on stream. Holy shit, that water is not... That water does not look like water should. Maybe the other uh, water isn't being rendered properly. Maybe it just looked less bad than it did before. Uh, oh god, okay. And is there anything here? The fact that we can come down here leads me to believe there is. As will be. What is down here? Oh, 
Oh, so he's coming here way later. Okay. So this was a... Uh, if, if you uh, fall down there. Why is only a few games a FOSS? Probably because it's difficult to make money off of FOSS software. And it's just easier for it to be proprietary. That's probably the... Uh, that's probably the best estimation I could probably give. Uh, there are definitely FOSS games. And a lot of really good ones. Like a lot of the games I played when I was growing up uh, in high school. A lot of those happened to be FOSS games. And I had no idea about it. So things like, say, Assault Cube, uh, Urban Terror. I never played Zenotics as a kid, but I did play Armageddon. Armageddon was really good. And, oh, also a really good one. If you want to, if you just want to have, like, fun with science nonsense, go play Powder Toy. Powder Toy is one of the most fun experiences I've had with just a random game like that. I have no idea how it works. And I know people, are, I'm pretty sure... Powder Toy is actually pure and complete. You can actually build, like, a full computer in it. Uh, if you know what you're doing, I'd recommend checking that out as well. But, yeah, the, the biggest reason is it's just hard to make money with FOSS software. We, uh... It surely there's a quicker way to get down here. Maybe not. Maybe that was actually the quick way to get down here. Huh. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it... When you play some of the more complex builds, it, uh, definitely can eat your RAM. And eat, eat your RAM. Eat your, eat your CPU and eat your... Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It'll eat your, your system resources. And go across here. Anything here? Ah, oh, no. And there's a cog. Yeah, this water does not look like water should be looking. Last time I tried it, it was actually loading in, like, random images I had loaded on my system. So it's an improvement this time. It's not a good one, but it's an improvement. Listen, Ty, before you tackle this water slide, there are a few things you need to Is know. there, mate? You can speed up and duck under the logs by pressing the bite button. The bite button. And you can slow down by pulling back on the movement stick. I. Good to know, mate. Good to know. Ah, uh, there is definitely a delay in the chat. So I'm actually streaming to YouTube and Twitch right now. So I'm streaming to restream. And then restream is streaming to my uh, my Twitch or and my YouTube, so I think there's like a seven second delay, something like that. And there's nothing I can do about it. That's the uh, the minimum the delay can be set to. Oh, who we got here? Hey, mate. What do you want? G'day, Cobber. Oh, G'day, Ranger Ken. I need a favour, mate. Do you, mate? There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats? It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries. Let's do it, mate. Okay. Uh, is this the cave that I literally just came down two seconds ago? Or is it a I hope this is a different cave. This might be a different cave. Oi. No. Let me bite your butt. Oi! Stop it! There we go. That texture did not load properly. Ooh. 
Oh. If I could, uh, if I could set the delay lower, I definitely would. But yeah, it's it's actually as low as we go right now. Um. I think I actually could add extra delay though if I really wanted to. Just I don't see any reason to do that right now because I'm not like doing anything competitive where it actually matters that I have delay. Because you know. People like to do things like stream sniping, so in that case, yeah, it makes sense. Anything back here? Nothing back here. Oh god, fuck that up. And a cog. Cog dog. Cog dog says, get him for cog dog says. Go watch um, Neil Kohatka. That's my suggestion. Yeah, do that. Uh, and then go listen to his awful, awful music by, uh, by the cog dog. Uh, do we? Uh, that is not how you get there. Ah, oh, you glide from the... From that one. Okay, that makes sense. The glide mechanic is this terrible. Why even bother including it? Okay, that's four out of five in this area already. Cool. Delicious alcohol on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh wait, I missed stuff? Wait, how did I- How did I miss that? Oh my god, I'm blind. Okay. Wow, I'm really blind. <laughs> Jesus! And there's a, uh, a painting there as well, or a portrait, picture, whatever it is. Okay, we're supposed to go deal with some bats, but I don't... There's a flock of cave bats in there. It's nearly the wet season, and we... Okay, yeah, there, there's apparently bats in here. I, I didn't see any bats. I... Maybe it means back here. Maybe there's bats here and it just. Oh, there, there were bats. Okay, well, that was easy. Surely they're not going to stop somewhere. Really? Really, this is what we're gonna do, is it? Okay. So we have to chase them out, they're not just gonna fly all the way out. Can they not fucking move any slower? On ya, mate. On ya, mate. Here's something for your troubles. Oh, you beauty! Yuri, Yuri. Is it cool? Uh, and on to the next ones then. I think we get three more here. If we get three more here, we should be able to get through uh, to the next section. Oh, leeches! I don't like that. Oh, if you bite them, they die. Oh, it is way. 
I don't know if there's a way to actually miss them. Uh, okay, besides obviously when there's a split in the road. Yeah, okay, I missed one. <laughs> well, ignore what I said then. Oh, that text is fucked. So we have to go through that path a couple of times to get everything. Oi! Missed it again. Well, we have to come down this path again anyway, so it's fine. Um, okay, apparently it's very, it's very easy to miss them. You just have to be not paying attention. Oh, <sighs> speaking of not paying attention, uh, <laughs> there's my first death. I didn't realize I was on one health. Don't even jump at all in here. Why is there jumping? Uh, and that one? Cool. The correct way to get through all of this is just jump through it. You don't even need to use ducking or anything. Oh, really? Ah! No. Now it's coming through it again. And that'll get us another cog. And that'll be eight cogs for this area. Cool. And that one's not that easy. We have to go chase a bird. Pretty sure the bird doesn't move unless we move, so we can just leave him there. I don't know how you actually get the bird. I don't know if you have, like, corner him or something. Hmm, maybe you do. That's five of them. Oh god. Oh fuck. This, oh lord. Yay. I love sections like this. We have no depth perception. Yay. Great mechanics, guys. Thank you, Chrome. Ah. Just before we go on, we can go clear this section out as well. No harm. No harm in doing it. Unless that's going to take us a whole other area. That's going to take us a whole other area. Okay. Good lie, bird. Oh, it's going to take us this way anyway. I think we could have got it there. Oh, is he just gonna run in a circle here? Ah! There's probably some strategy I'm missing. Oi, don't punch me. I've not tried Lee Wolf, no. Uh, I hear good things about it. There we go, got it. That was easy enough. Hmm. 
isn't... Like, didn't DT recommend it recently? I don't think he's running it. I think he's running, like, cute or something like that. But, I guess if you want to get rid of Mozilla in your life, it's not the worst idea. Uh, if you, yeah, if you want to get rid of Mozilla and then still use, like, a Firefox-based browser. Because you don't really have much of a choice otherwise. It's like, ah. Oh. oh. Uh, I just got a message from my mum. She, uh, she asked me, uh, the street near me, there was apparently a car accident very recently, and I'd called her a couple of hours ago, so I'm guessing she thought that maybe I was, uh, <laughs> I was the one in the accident. But, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good, as we can, as we can see. Okay, no, well, Pi's not, but I am. Uh, okay. Well, obviously that was not how you supposed to do that. I'm into that little video too. How are we supposed to get through here? I actually don't know, remember how you supposed to do this. It's like... I think you just hug the right wall when the boulder comes by. Oh. Really? Why is... Why did you slip there? Yeah, you just hug the right wall. Okay, easy enough. Where are they even dropping from? They're just dropping from... Are they just dropping from the sky? Yes, they're just dropping from the sky. It's at least... Come on, if you're gonna do something like that, at least make it seem like it's uh, coming from somewhere sensible. But they're literally just spawning out of nothing. <laughs> oh, PS2 platformers. How I love them. Oh, this one bounces. So this one we have to be under. There's Shazza. G'day, Shazza. Oh, shivers. Ah, oh, Ty, am I glad to see you. Would you mind keeping those blue tongues off me back while I fill up my watering bottle? I... No worries. Thanks, possum. Not a possum. Oh, that that fire does not... I don't like that eyes. Nah, I, that fire Hit the not good for my eyes. So they knock the blue tongues out of the way. Alright. Oh, are you serious? It's one of these. Oh my god, what a great mechanic. Why are they just walking along slowly like that? Ah, oh, fuck that. Those scaly thieves took my watering bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was, that was the least... The, Almost there. The most anticlimactic finish to a mission I've ever seen. I hate stages like this. And I'm, this is one of the things I don't miss about PS2 games. Like, this is not a good mechanic. Just don't do this. Why would you ever have a mechanic like this built into your game? It's the same as, like, the, the fishing minigame in uh, Jack 1. Okay, there we go. Right. Thanks, Ty. 
Thanks heaps for what you did back there, Possum. Ah, no worries. By the way, I found this at the creek. You want it? Shoe ripper! Yo, ripper! Well, I better get a move on. See you soon, Possum. Right. I thought this was where we got to meet the liver. I guess there's a couple of levels that look very similar in this game. Hmm, there's like a couple of water levels and these spikes just come out of the ground. There's a couple of water levels and there's a couple of uh, rain rainforest levels, so I guess they must have just been similar in my head. And I know where the rest of these are. They're on the uh, the water slide. Oh god. Let's you and me race, Who the fuck bro? are you? Bet you thunder egg, you can't be me. Who the fuck are you? And we always died straight away. Uh, oh, God. Well, this is easy. Just, uh, can't take damage or I die. Uh, I, I think you just mentioned something about the video I did. I, I, will, I will read it in, like, two seconds when I'm not doing this, this sliding thingy. Uh, perfect, look at that. I uh, saw your recent video on Activity Club, oh, very dead. informative. Now I want to host my own PHP instance. Oh, that's Come awesome. On. You got lucky as all. But fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Sweet. I'm guessing you have, like, videos you've made yourself you want to put on there, not just... Unless you just want to host it, just because, lol, why not? That's also cool, if you want to do that. Ah, cog. Ten cogs. There we go. Okay, so... Okay, I guess if we go down this way, that'll take us close to where I want to go. I want to go do the, um, the slides again so we can go grab the last couple of opals. But what are we missing? Okay, we're literally just missing the opals. Okay. And the flower is there. Conveniently placed on this thing we can jump on. And there is... The last opal is down the path that we didn't... Oh, maybe it's on this path, actually. Yeah, I think it actually is on this path. So we can get the last opal. And then go get the uh, the last thunder egg. And be done with this area. Or ma oh, Petri Bill Matrix. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I should go and actually host my own Matrix. Because right now I'm just... It's just on the uh, Matrix.org home server. The only problem is I don't know if you can actually migrate and in, uh, migrate a server to a different in or migrate a room to a different instance. I think there may be a way to do it. I don't know though. Or just mask it on for you and some friends. Yeah, that's that also works. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of mastodon instances right now. If people want to use a public one, you don't need it to be public. Hug the right wall, and we win. And I drink. Oh god. There we go. There we go. 
Look at that. I'm a professional at this game. So I want to grab the opals over here. Or the opal, uh, opal thunder egg over here. <laughs> Wait, are those just spawning into ex Look at- okay. So on some levels, the render distance is so good that it can spawn like opals and stuff literally across the map. That is like 10 meters in front of me and they're not spawning. What the fuck? Like I get you have to optimize some things, but I think that's like a little bit overkill in this case. <laughs> oh, and it's not just one set, it's every single one of them does that. Great game design. PS2 games. And grab this one. Woo, Oak Machine, Thunder Egg. And that is all of the Thunder Eggs in this area. So now we can go on to the next area. I actually don't know what the uh, the quickest speed run of this game is. Because yes, there is a speed run community for this game. Because there is a speed run community for every game. Uh, much quicker than I'm playing right now, that's for sure. But it's a fairly short game. Uh, we're already like a third of the way into it. Is Google banned in Australia? Uh, no. But Google might get, like, they might just get the services shut down here. Um, either way, you could VPN it. So, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, 28. Okay, so we're missing two to get the next one. The next two we need are in... Yeah, all of the stuff that we're missing right now is in shipwrecks. But we'll grab that later. Jolly good guy. You've collected enough thunder eggs to power the machine. Wow! Let's give it a go, shall we? Out of standing! Simply outstanding! The energy levels are off the scale, and, and, and... Yes, yes, I've got a lock on one of the talismans! Stand back, Ty! It's coming through! It's a talisman! Oh, wow, this is already happening. Oh, it's a boss fight. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we have to make it come to these ones. Yeah, I think we have to make it run through the things here. Maybe? VPS or Raspberry Pi? <laughs> well, not like that. Uh, let's not die. Yay! PS2 boss fights. I think later in the game we actually ride this bull. Oh my god, okay. So... That's how we were supposed to like coax it, but also get out of the way quick enough. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's how we're supposed to do it. Whoa, that's very dangerous. Gotta, gotta, gotta struggle for this boss fight. 
Wow, he's doing three of them now. Whoa. Okay, that actually kind of will hurt. Ah, that's annoying. Ah, damn it. Don't keep doing that. Oh, he's not running fast enough. God damn it! Have we got it in a spot where he, he can't run fast enough to hurt himself? I think we have. <laughs> nope, okay, cool. Just just enough space. Oh my god, the render distance on this grass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is fading out of existence as we walk. That's amazing. And now he's going to throw some rocks at us, probably. Cool. And now we just want to get him to hit this one. Wow, that was difficult. Where the hell would you pull that from? We got high quality talisman. Oh, look at this cutscene. Well done, Ty. It's out the you voice retrieved dizzing. the first of the ancient talismans. When Boss Cass discovers that we're out to thwart his plans, plans, he will do all. It, he will do all. It, he will do all. It, he will do all in his power to stop you. <laughs> be careful, my friend. She'll be right, old timer. Shock me, lucky you actually found the talisman. I just might have bet on the wrong horse. Anyway, mate, Julius has got a present for you at his lab. That was amazing. I've made <laughs> a most exciting discovery. Have you, though? The talisman machine is brimming with excess energy from the Fire Thunder eggs. By diverting that energy to my special hyper techno boomerang maker, I can make special elemental rangs. Watch. Simply smashing. I present to you the flamerang. The flamerang. You beauty. Yes, yes. This ring can start fires and melt ice. It even has a more powerful effect on some enemies. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. It will aid you well in your quest. Now, do try it out. The uh, the lighting in this game was sort of updated for the Steam version, and it looks it looks interesting. Oh, it also it also breaks. <laughs> oh, that's great. Look at this. Fucking too lazy to render it when it's that close. Uh, no, I don't have a website. I've been meaning to make one. Um. But every time I make a website I like, I then realize I don't like what I've come up with and redo it. So, right now, no. Why? Okay, the lighting... The lighting's a little broken. Um, the lighting's a little broken, as we can see. So the lighting's actually coming off of the boomerang. Uh, 
and I think they've got the uh, the, just the settings on uh, Unity or whatever they're using code a little too high. So I'm just gonna always be red from now on. This is this is beautiful. And everything I go near is just fluorescently red. Okay, so that's that's those ranks. Um I think there's an area we can open up now. But Oh, and there's a scale here now. Ah, oh, there you go. There we go. Portal. That'll take us Oh, that's that'll take us into the bull's pen. That's the boss we just fought. Uh, let's go shipwrecks for just a moment. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a be look at this! Look at this! Like, what am I looking at? This is not how it looked on the PS2. They are they they are broken a little bit by the looks of it, a little bit. Yeah, I knew that did something. Okay. I still don't know how to get to the area we couldn't get to before, but that is that is cool. Um, so where do we go to now? Let's see if we can work it out. There's a talisman placed over here. Maybe we have to go place that. Oh, talisman is placed. What do I think of Beardless Luke Smith? Um, wet, before he grew the beard, but before he started growing it back, he looked a bit like a Tic Tac. Now that he's growing the beard back, uh, less like a Tic Tac. But still not the, uh, the best look for him, I would say. Okay. I don't remember where the next area is. <laughs> I feel really dumb now. Um, do we go in? The talisman machine requires this many ice thunder eggs to work. Why is, is this, this so? so? The frostilurious eggs require a critical mass of antimatter goodness linked to challenge response quark indicators. These in turn reamplify the vetter streaming oscillators for a perfunctory quantum prolapse resulting in a pedestal ball phenomenon. They're out there, so keep looking, Ty. Whatever you just said. Yep. Um, I... There's, okay, so there has to be some ice here we have to melt then. I don't know where the ice is though. Because we know where the fire is. The fire is over this way. Oh. Loose, what is a loose motion test? Is this another weird Indian thing? Um, I think the fire's over here. Yeah, fire's over here. So the flame rune's not gonna help us with that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a little stuck for us right now. Maybe there's a thing over here. This is a game made for children and I'm lost. Okay, you need a, a year thunder ring to get through that area over there. Where the hell is the ice? Thunder Ring gets us through there. Uh, ice, ice, ice. 
I'm very lost. That one we get to by gliding, I believe. Let's see if we can get that one. I think we have to glide from like on top of the house or something like that. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we glide from here. Uh, no, that's not going to be enough. We won't have enough range to get that one. Maybe the ice was up here, actually. I'm almost tempted to just Google it. Ah, no, it is in here. Yeah, yeah, there's the ice. Oh! Sly! Hmm, he's smarter than I thought. Well, I, let's see. Can we come here? No. What areas do we have here? Bridge on the river. Uh, bridge on the river tie. Okay. Outback. Uh, Outback Safari is one I was thinking of before. And Snow Warriors. Okay, those are all fun levels. Uh, let's. I imagine we shall do quite well here because it's a perfect focal point for the talisman is machine. It? All right, then. I thought you had something to say to me. Well, that's as good a place as any to end the game, I would say. Uh, we'll save that. Yeah, I think that's as good a place as any to end. Uh, and we're, <laughs> and the funny thing is, we just managed to get our max number of our peak viewers <laughs> as well. So, <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, oh no, we had high peak viewers earlier. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, thank you guys for coming and checking out this stream, I guess. Uh, usually I don't do weekday streams, but today was a bit of a special day, and I decided to go and do so, I guess. Now, there is going to still be a game stream on the weekend. There's just going to be one of them. It's going to be a stream of um, 5D chess with uh, multi-dimensional time travel. Oh, Ron, you just... <laughs> oh, too bad. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing 5D chess with multi-dimensional time travel with uh, Connor, one of the guys I've had on the podcast a bunch of times. He's the guy who, uh, it's, it's Super Cosman, the guy who basically comes back every seven episodes. So, I'll do that on the weekend. Not sure if it's going to happen Saturday or Sunday. And until then, tomorrow there will be videos. The day after there will be videos. And pretty much like that. Uh, clips coming out like they should. I've actually started doing clips on the gaming channel, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there's going to be clips, and then generally streams will be on the weekend, but sometimes there might be a special one during the week like this as well. But, I think I think that's pretty much everything, actually. If you want to go support the channel, there should be links in the description. There might not be. If there's not, I think all of you guys are from the main channel anyway, so there's links over on the main channel where you can, you know, you can go and support stuff. Besides that, I'm going to go, and I, I, yeah, I'm going to go. And I might have a bit of a late night snack. Uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to play the outro. Where is my outro? I really need to come up with, like, a, a script that just auto-plays the outro. I might work on that, actually. That's not a bad idea.